Let's go. Can't raise the sail here. This wind would fill the sail. Warriors, bring it. When I was away, far from these frozen shores, wondering if I should ever see home again, I grew afraid. Afraid I would not return in time to see Kirkves end. Afraid I would not see him bleed out like a stuck pig in a drift of snow. But here I am, home in time to join those I have missed, those I love, in this glorious fight. Today we seize Nochtfall from Kirkve. Tonight his heart will pulse with worry. Tomorrow it will burst from fear. He will beseech the gods for aid. For they will be deaf to his cries. And soon the Raven Clan will feast on his dead. You know these isles best, Wolfkist. Lead us to victory. I will show the way, but you must lead us there. Oh, Eivor. I missed having you at my side. How I wished I could have taken you along on my travels. Stierbjorn did not trust fate with both our lives. He had no reason to fear. Together, we are unstoppable.
What do you see? Ships are coming! Clan. You reap a bloody harvest. Who are you, Gester? Name yourself. I know his face. He met with your father not long ago. I did, indeed. I am Guthorm, uncle to King Harold of the North. I speak for my nephew when there is need. This is not King Harold's land. Why does he send warriors so far south? You may ask him yourself, my lord. Thank you, Uncle. And you are Sigurd of the Raven Clan, is that right? Son of the wise King Stebjorn. I am. And you are standing on his land, King Harald. Land we have reclaimed with blood and steel. That I see, and I honor it. For I have not come to war against you, but for you, at the request of your father. The Canny Wolf. Was this the plan he spoke of? I offer my support. With my warriors, your Raven Clan can take Kirtway's fortress and settle this rivalry for good. This is good news, Eivor. The Wandering King will tip our fortunes. Any man who wishes to see the end of Kirtway is a friend of mine. We thank you, King Harald. Your trust in me will be repaid. This blood feud runs deep, King Harald. We welcome your help, but I must lead the charge. I see. Is this a question of honor? It is. Many winters ago, Kjotve broke an oath to our fathers. He betrayed a friendly peace and slaughtered many. I understand. Sigurd Jarl will lead the assault against Kjotve and his clan. Give him full command of my ships and my warriors. When your victory is in hand, Sigurd, find me at Alrekstadir, and we will celebrate together. Our men will gather at Florley, near the mouth of the fjord northeast of here. Will you join us? Hold a moment. You captain our longship, Eivor. Meet us there, and we will claim Kjotve's head for the gods. Brother, I have waited too many years for this day. When Kjotve stands before us, give me the final blow. You will have it, Eivor. You deserve it. Eivor! Give us a hand! Ardald is generous with his troops. More than I would be. I cannot fathom his game. He is either a young fool, or deceptively wise. Whatever his reason, I have a good feeling this war is near its end. Eivor, you missed the opening act. Kjotve's forward camp melted like a spring thaw at our approach. Is it from here we launch our attack? We do indeed, and we are ready to fight. King Harold's forces are well in place. Only give the word. 
I will, but before we strike, I have a request. Name it. That Aver may give challenge to Kyotve at the gate of his fortress. A battle to the death in single combat. Is... is this what you want? Kyotve robbed my father of all honor and dignity. I will win it back. When honor is at stake, let none interfere. And if Kyotwe should die before the battle begins, all the better for our chances. Today my blade must do the work of Skuld's sharp scissors, and cut short the cord of Kyotwe's fate. Well said, my sharp-tongued warrior scout. May we all live to hear that saga sung. Eivor, a word! Basim, hide them. This feud is not yours, yet you fight it all the same. I find that strange. You find it strange because you are wrong. Our clan, the Hidden Ones, have been fighting with Kyotve's order for centuries. You came from Miklagard to kill Kyotve yourself? We did. Or rather, we came so that Hytham could kill him. My apprentice has been studying this target for many months. Is Kyotve's reputation so great outside Norway? Not his reputation alone, but the order to which he belongs. Something of a rival clan to our own. Hytham, I mean no disrespect to you or the Hidden Ones. But Kyotve is mine. My family's honor is at stake. I understand. All that matters is that Kyotve dies this day. On that, we are agreed. Is mine, Kyotve. Sigurd is only here to watch me feed your innards to my raven. Look at this! <laughs> Once again, Abel Wolfkist appears to take a swipe at me. This. This is my father's shame. Today I take back the honor he lost. I call a home gang! Here! Against the Oathbreaker! I will make you beg as your father begged, Wolfkill. Squeal as your mother squealed. You destroyed my life. I will take you yours. You are weak, like your father was weak. Better than you fight! I need no weapons but these hands! Pray for it! You cannot avoid your death! Come! Embrace your destiny!
My blade will drink your blood. Your flesh will feed my wolves. Clan, your lives are forfeit. Come forward if you must into the crucible of your doom. Your father is dead, Gorham. His debt repaid. Open the gates and you will be spared. Wallow in shit, wolf. Kissed. Archers, take aim. Ravens, show no mercy. Archer, 
Archers! Fire! Move! Take a drone shot! has made you predictable. You are a shadow of your father, Gorm. Weak and witless. And you will leave this place as ashes on the wind. The breath of battle rises from my brow. The skulls will sing of this night. We have won the day. But Gorm escaped. He fled north to King Harald's domain. Let that bruised piglet run where he may. His father is dead. His clan is no more. We are the masters of Ruyavilke. 
A toothless cup may grow to be a dangerous wolf. Eivor, stop. And listen. You have reclaimed your honor. Enjoy the night's victory. Tomorrow, we will celebrate. You're right, brother. You're always right. Guth Ormur, relay news of our victory to your nephew, the king. I have done so already, Sigurd. You'll be more than pleased, and will ensure you pride of place at his Althing at Aldingstalir. Tell him we will come, battle flushed and singing songs of glory. Keep company with kings, and you will soon have a crown of your own. <laughs> if the fates have spun it so, linger here and look what you can. I will bring news of our victory to father before he leaves for Harald's Althing. I know, Sunan. Another time. <laughs>